Hi guys, how are you? Good, Good. How, how are, are you? you? I'm doing great. Uh, to start, Joey, I have to say yesterday, I was went into the, the premiere being like, cool, there's going to be so many French Bulldogs because you walked in with a... <laughs> posse of french bulldogs yep. and now i'm like oh i think she just wanted the dogs because they're it's not anything with poppy yeah they were my minions what can i say <laughs> Sorry. but i loved it and it was it's such a cool thing about this movie that you kind of get to have these odd moments that exist in this franchise too and like what i loved about poppy is that she's playing ddr with her cat yep <laughs> um and for you, what are the little fun things about her as a character that made you really excited to kind of not only be a part of the franchise and lend your voice to it, but like think about how that character would interact with others? I mean, I just loved how Poppy's um, personality was portrayed and, and sorry, uh, in the story. She's so funny and she's so villainous, but also sweet. And I just loved like all the layers to her. Mm -hmm. um, I love how she like admires Gru so much, but also blackmails him and uh <laughs> helping her bid do her bidding um and i think she's just has a lot of sweetness to her at the same time so i love her arc and i love playing her and she's just she's just like a very layered lady <laughs> she isn't Miranda. you get to be uh you know she is the older margo has the older sind sister syndrome which is like the older sister always has to have the answers and be the one that knows the most but she also still doesn't quite know where she fits in with like other kids and all of that as you've grown her throughout the years what has been your favorite thing that you've seen her change as it gets into now despicable me for um i think from the first despicable me margo's always kind of had a quiet confidence mm -hmm. and i like that she's not afraid to kind of call grew out that's mm -hmm. always been a big part of her personality but one thing i like in this film is that even though she's struggling and she has to go into witness protection program and it's really hard for her to go up to this new school and everything at the same time you can see how much her relationship has grown with grew and how much they really love each other um, and she's really part of a family now, and she has a baby brother. So, yeah, it's just, it's a really, it's a fun one for Margo. <laughs> yeah, and uh, to go back to Poppy for a second, I just really like how you said, like, she blackmails this man who she's like, I, I love your work, <laughs> but you now need to help me because I need to do this, which I think is just, I love her tenacity. I think it's very fun. He's a go-getter. Yeah, she also, like, her, uh, her end goal is slightly off kilter and it's not like I will have this grand plan it's like I just want to steal this honey badger so that I can get into a school yep. which is a crazy thing to do to get into an educational program love it but when <laughs> you're like looking at like all of the things that she could do in the future and all these grand plans she could have if this was just her high school dreams yeah. Is there anything that you're like, oh, she would 100% try and do this down the line? I mean, listen, the idea of Poppy coming back and being a character in this franchise, it makes me feel very happy. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's ever going to happen or not, but I sure hope so. <laughs> and she just, I think there's an endless possibilities for Poppy. You know, she wants to be like Ruth. She wants to be the greatest supervillain in the world, and she also has a good heart. And I think that there's so much potential for her to have some of the greatest heists and the greatest missions of all time, but also have some really sweet moments. I, mm -hmm. I really loved playing her. Um, and so my fingers are crossed that we get to hopefully see her again one day. Yeah, um, Miranda, I saw this one on the carpet yesterday that made me both like so happy, but I was also like, oh, that makes me a little sad because you met the young girl who was playing um, oh, yeah. Agnes in this time. And I, I, as I watched it, I was like, oh, they're just me for the first time. Well, that is a little sad that, like, this is, like, the first time you guys get to meet. Yeah. Getting to play, the, you know, these sisters for as many years as you have now, do you wish sometimes that you three could all be in the room together and actually getting to f film your voices and see how you would mesh as sisters in that case? Um, for sure. I mean, I think it would be so fun to all get to just be in the same room doing it. And that's how I thought animation worked when I first, um, like, did the first movie. Yeah. That I was like, where is everybody <laughs> when they told me to go into the room? Um... So yeah, that'd be so much fun, but there's also a part of me that kind of likes getting to just be by myself in there because you get to go wild and just like not feel like anybody is watching you and like it's kind of a weirdly like a freeing place to be. So um, that part of it's kind of fun, but I would love to get to like be with the other two girls. That'd be really cool. Yeah, and I was going to ask both of you because I, I used to do improv and I always think it's funny like when they're like, oh, like did you improvise on an animated movie? I'm like with yourself like did you, did you improvise like on your own you're like yeah i'm so good at improvising i mean there was a couple times where like i mean there's like a written line and if there's no animation yet you can kind of run wild a little bit mm -hmm. and it was fun we, we had a, like i was grateful that it felt like there was a lot of creative freedom with these these directors and this 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 team um because they wanted to feel like 
your own voice and your own take on, on the character. Um, and it was super fun because every now and then there would be like little things that I would add and it was just like so great. <laughs> yeah, I love this movie that the minions are like, it's very clearly like The Thing and Mr. Fantastic but then Superman and it's just like they <laughs> become whatever superheroes they want. If you guys could have a minion that was a superhero, do you have like one that you're like, I would totally make that minion be Spider-Man or whatever it is? He's so funny. I love the stretchy minion. <laughs> I find him to be so endearing. Mm -hmm. I love him so much. The new Mega Minion. Yeah. Was, was I think I'd probably pick the, the flying minion because if I knew him, I'd want him to like go pick up my groceries and like do a bunch of stuff for me and just be able to fly around. There's not really a purpose in my head for the stretchy guy, but I just, <laughs> just like cool. him. He's just funny. He wings at the one point. You can just be like, swing me from place to place so that I don't have to be They like knock a lot of stuff over though. His arms yeah. don't, they don't He's just like, <laughs> I'm just trying to get around traffic in LA. I'm like, yeah. there's got to be some way to use these minions. Like, I'm just trying to get practical. I want to get places fast. We need a point B, and I'll just use my minion to get me there. Yeah, LA would be hard though, because there's nothing to really swing on. So it just be I know. Like, oh, true. Like a yeah, forest. you can't really be like a Spider-Man in LA. Can you? Yeah, that's why you specifically. You're just kind of walking. <laughs> just walking everywhere. I do. I did love like the brief little moments that these two get to actually. Friends is a loose term, but like they are together and they're like neighborly. A budding friendship. Yeah, it's budding. <laughs> like, w do you guys hope that if there is another movie that this is a friendship that gets explored? Or is it kind of like, yeah, they were neighbors for a minute. They'll remember each other. No, I more. hope they never see each other again. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I never have to see Miranda again. After this. <laughs> our last day together. Honestly though, I would love that because and also who knows it'd be fun to just be in the booth together. Not that that would happen. I know, but that'd, that'd be, be so fun. cool someday. I'd love that. I think we'd have a really good time. I think so too. <laughs> yeah. And for my last question, I asked Joey this yesterday so I asked you Miranda, I love how much music plays a part in these movies and then asked this before I saw the movie yesterday where then there is a duet at the end of it and I was like oh great I guess I knew. But if you had to sing a karaoke song with your character have you ever thought about like what you and Margot would sing together? Oh, um... Maybe like girls just want to have fun by Cindy Lauper. <laughs> that could okay. be good. What was my pick again? We were trying to figure out songs yeah, that had lists and so or like oh S's. God. So we said uh, "Boots Were Made for Walking" oh, and then best song ever 